different ways that we are able to store and transport our equipment, uh, including how the trailer is organized and how some of our boxes and cases are organized. Um, for more reference on this, you might want to see our um, gig logs where you can see a little bit more detail on how the cases themselves are loaded. But in general today, I'm going to be showing you how the trailer itself is organized and how some of our boxes are organized to give you an idea of how you can better yourself as a DJ and maybe get to gigs a little quicker, set up a little quicker, that type of thing. So let's get right into it. So now that we're in the trailer, I'm gonna show you all of the things back here and what all of them do. Uh, everything in here has a specific purpose. We are very organized and it is our goal to be able to get in and out of a gig as quickly as possible while using the least amount of physical strength and effort that we actually need to, to accomplish that. So this box is very, very important to our setup because it contains many and many, many, many of the things that we use on a regular basis. So up in the top here, we have some assorted batteries. Um, these are probably all dead actually, just coming out of the microphone. Some cables over here. There's some more, there's some uh, cable wrap uh, Velcro here. Uh, there is also a bunch more of these little adapters. These all come in handy, they're really useful. Inside of here, there's all kinds of things that we might need. Like here's some garbage, right? That's from these batteries. But other than that, there's all kinds of useful stuff like pliers, wrenches. <laughs> there's the Lixada, if you remember that from our early days. That was a, oh, that thing was terrible. A pair of scissors, tape measure. It's all kinds of useful stuff. And then if you look a little bit below this, you'll find uh, the setup for our monitors. These are the uh, passive monitor speakers that oftentimes Nick uses. Um, this is the Lapai amp. Man, I love this thing, but I think I broke it. I'm not sure what happened there, but, but this is a great little amplifier. I, I really enjoy using this thing. Um, I think I got it for like five bucks a yard sale. So another thing that's really important to our business is the organization of our cables. Uh, so in here, you can see all of our IEC cables. Obviously, also a couple things like this little analog mixer here. Um, this is a little, a great little mixer. Um, this is the My DMX here, um, and they're jammed in the six foot section. That's six foot IEC, as you can see there. There's uh, nine plus foot over here, uh, but these are all labeled eight and ten, as not to confuse with the six section. And then here's the three section. If I pull one of these out, you can see that it's labeled three. Um, that's to um, avoid confusion. Here is one that's labeled 10. So that way, um, when we're putting them away, we can make sure we know exactly what they are and it makes our jobs a lot easier. So out of all of the boxes we have, uh, I would say this one is by far the least organized of all of them. Uh, there's one other box inside that I'm not going to show you. That's the box that contains all of the fogging equipment. Uh, but that comes to almost no gigs. But this one uh, is very important. I mean, it's got, let's see, it's got extension cords in it. Another extension cord. Uh, there's, let's see, that's a 25-foot IEC. A snake. That, that is a um, actually a homemade um, speak-on cable. Uh, and a facade stand. So it is imperative that we bring this to every gig. But yeah, this is not the best um, show of our organization, but it is still relatively easy to get stuff out of this. When it comes to cable organization, I would say that this is sort of my pride and joy. I really, really like the way the cables in here are organized. Uh, and this was an idea I came up with a while back. So basically the way that this works is uh, there are these posts here and instead of your standard wrap we do an over under wrap and then we go like this around and make a loop here and it drops in like that the reason why this is so effective is because there's absolutely no way the cables can become interlocked 
and thus your cables will never become un unorganized. You pull the cable out every time, it'll throw right out, and you're ready to go. So this has saved us an absolute ton of time. This is a great idea. I recommend this to everybody. All I did was I created a plate on the bottom and attached these dowel rods to it, and it has significantly increased our setup time. So in terms of organization, the one thing you have probably noticed the most throughout our videos is these giant flight cases that we use. Um, now, going from one side to the other, this is our uh, new STX, a JBL STX 828S subwoofer, and it has caster wheels on it now, straight out of Harbor Freight. They're 180 pounds each, so that's fairly impressive. We have the uh, case I refer to as the flat case that now has a set of casters on it. Uh, this holds all of the light and it is an excellent case and by God, it, it's awesome. And then behind it is uh, what I would refer to as the thin case, which is tall and thin and it is hinged. Now you may notice that the two cases that were shown in previous videos are no longer in use. And that is because while well, one of them contains the two um, Behringer Eurolive subwoofers so we don't use the we're not going to be using those quite as much anymore but we still will be so you may see the bigger case once in a while and the other case simply wasn't efficient for storage so we're not going to be using that as much anymore uh, I like this one better this subwoofer obviously we paid a lot for that but these cases this case here was fifty dollars and this one here was only ten so I would seriously recommend that if you have a trailer or an easy way to transport cases, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you transport your equipment this way. It makes it a lot better. So the case that I'm currently sitting on is um, another one of the cases I got along with the flat case. This case costs another 10 bucks. Uh, so this one has the dual 15s in it along with the community passive um, monitors so this is full of passive equipment um, <laughs> on top of it just a random speak on cable so that's that this is in the garage where uh, we store some of the extra equipment here you can see this is the thin case this has got a couple amps in it right now and over there we have the massive sub case that has the two single 18 powered subs. In the end, I would recommend that you guys all take this into consideration, all these different things that we do for organization, because what we've learned from our honestly short time DJing, these things have really improved our setup time and particularly time before leaving the house, not having to load the cases in anymore, just leaving them in the trailer all the time is really saved us a lot of time. So I really recommend you do these things. It's going to increase your speed and it's going to make you look a lot more professional. So if you'd like to see more of this type of videos, please subscribe to this channel and subscribe to the channel below where you'll find some other videos much like it. Keep on DJing guys. Peace.